Hey guys, it's Chase, and welcome back to a new video. So, I have a switch that came in because the SD card FPC connector is broke off the board. You know, the uh, SD card module connects to the FPC connector on the board. Now, the uh, customer did remove the FPC connector, so let's take a look at the board and see what's going on with it. Okay, alright, so here's the area that we're going to be working with here tonight. Wow, okay, so we have a little bit of damage here. Let's uh, grab some alcohol and clear up what looks to be flux on the board here. All right, and we'll grab a Q-tip here. We'll just clear this up, see exactly what's going on. All right, okay, I see some stuff here. All right, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of repair here. So um, we can do this two ways. Uh, since we have a missing pad right here for the SD connector, um, what I will probably do is I'm probably gonna run a jumper from here uh, over to the connection instead of just running it under. Uh, usually things can tend to be complicated if you do that. Uh, not always, but uh, sometimes you can run a pad strip if, uh, if you want to, but uh, in my case, I prefer to just run a uh, jumper from point A to point B. Uh, so let's go ahead and add some flux here and tin all these joints up before we add our new connector. The flux that I am using is Amtec 213. All right. We're going to turn on our iron and our fume extractor. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add some solder. We're going to add some lead-free solder here to these pads. Would you look at that? They just look so nice and pretty and perfect. All right. Let's just go ahead and clean up this area just so we can take a look at it real quick. There you go. Area looks nice and clean, and we are ready for our new connector. Now I'm hanging the board off my bench a little bit here. That way I can get the hot air underneath the board and everything will just work out perfect. All right, so before we apply the hot air, let's get the connector in place here. Making a note that this is the line we need to jump from, from here to here, which has been our pin number, probably one or whatever it is. All right. Let's just get this lined up as close as we can. All right. Now we're going to use our hot air underneath. As you can see, the flux is starting to do its thing. All right. Okay, looks like the connector just went right down in place. Now before we call this done, I want to touch up these joints with the soldering iron. Maybe just put a little bit of flux here on the side of the connector. We don't need to put any solder on our iron here. We just want to touch these joints here. Really gently, yeah. We need to run the jumper from from this pad here to this pin here. So let's go ahead and change our iron tip. All right, so I'm gonna just add a tad bit of flux here. There we go. All right. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and cut that wire down here. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and loop our wire around here.
All right, perfect. Now we can kind of wiggle our wire and you can see that it is connected to that pin. Now I do want to double check continuity to the big pad that's right next to it because um, we don't want it shorting to the pad next to it, which I don't think it is, but uh, better to be safe than sorry, right? All right. Nope, we're good. And we're making a connection. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up with some alcohol here. And probably a Q-tip. And dry it up. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of solder mask here and we're gonna coat the ends of this so that so it's nice and good and sealed in. All right, now I'm gonna use that UV light to cure it up. All right. All right, so our solder mask is all cured. All right, job is done. And also before I go, my customer asked us to do our one wire RCM mod too. <laughs> he saw the video on our channel and I went ahead and did that for him real quick. Since you guys have already seen that before, I just uh, didn't waste any time. I just went ahead and did it real quick. Last but not least, let's check continuity. On pin 10 to ground, when you push the volume button, just to make sure, okay, continuity, continuity, and uh, volume, and it's working perfectly. All right, so at least we got the switch working. Unfortunately, I do not have an SD card to test, but uh, we went ahead and fixed the SD card FPC connector and ran a jumper wire to one of the broken pads. And then we did our one wire RCM mod to the switch. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys could hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. You guys can see more videos like this in the future. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have an awesome rest of your day.